Right, so we look at how Python implements some of the algorithms we discussed. So we looked at um, uh, prime number one. So let's remember how we check if a number is prime, a, prime, a number is prime if it's divisible by self and one. Or to put it a different way, if you divide a prime number by every number less than it but greater than one and each time it gives a remainder, then it's a prime number. Whereas if I, if a number isn't prime, like the number eight, and I divide by every number less than it, when I divide by four and divide it by two, it will give no remainder. So then I know it's eight is not prime, whereas with seven, if I divide by six, five, four, three, and two, it'll always give a remainder. The number nine as well, if I divide by eight, no remainder. If I divide by seven, no remainder. No, if I divide by eight, there's a remainder. If I divide by seven, there's a remainder. If I divide by six, there's a remainder. If I divide by five, there's a remainder. If I divide by four, there's a remainder. But if I divide nine by three, there is no remainder. So we know nine is not prime because I go along every number less than it but greater than two and if any of them goes in evenly into it then we know it's not prime and that's exactly what I'm saying there so what does it look like in terms of code it's the same code as the pseudo code we call it check prime we get in a value that we read that in as a and then B is that value minus one we assume that it is a prime number and if a divides b divides evenly into a then we know it's not a prime number so we loop around counting using b to count downwards and we check using our division remainder function so if a division remainder that's the percentage sign b is equal to zero so if i do any division of a into b and there's no remainder that means it divides in evenly so for the number nine we know it's not prime because the number three goes into it evenly it goes three times plus no remainder so what we read if a percentage b equals equals zero as is, we can read it as if it divides in evenly, then the number is not prime. So if, it, if a percentage b is equal to zero, that is if b divides into a evenly, then the number is not prime. So we set is prime to false. And we keep looping around. If at any time is prime has been set to be false, then we print out that a if, if is prime is, is still true, at the end of this process, then we print out that A is a prime number, else we print out that B, A is not a prime number. Simple as that. So if is prime, the Boolean variable, was ever set to false, that means we print out it's not a prime number, but if it's never been set to false, that means it's true and it is a prime number. Exactly the same as the pseudocode. That's just how we implement it in Python. We look at the Fibonacci number sequence, which we'll remember. It's the, the each value is the sum of the previous two values in the sequence, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, etc. How do we implement that? Again, we start off with the common program Fibonacci numbers, read in a value, then we have two variables, first and second number. And there start off as one and one. We keep looping around and we calculate what value we're considering by getting the total of the first plus second number. And then we make the first number the second and the second the total. We decrement the counter by one and keep going around and then we print out. And if you download this code and play with it, you'll see that this gives us the Fibonacci numbers in the sequence. So that's a couple of programs implemented in Python that use a combination of whiles and ifs and inputs and things like that and printing out to the screen. So we can do an awful lot at this stage. We can read values in, we can manipulate them and we can print them out. So I think we're becoming super duper computer programmers at this stage. So thanks very much and over to you.